welcome back to shorts. I'm just going to make this a short. It's going to be nice and quick. We're going to do a poppy. This is a Bernat. It's just called Black Sparkle. And then I'm just going to use my Cardinal Red for the actual poppy part. Um, the hook size that it calls for is 5 millimeters, so I'm just going to use a 4.5. So just want you to do a magic ring of 13 single crochets. So go into your next stitch and you're just going to fasten off. We don't want any bleeding of colors, so that's why I just decided to fasten off. So you can pull your middle closed now and sew everything shut. So definitely sew your middle closed. So once you got your little guy done. You're going to get your red. You're going to reattach. So do it here in this where we fastened off spot with a single crochet. So we're going to come over to our next stitch and we're going to do a triple. And then we're going to do a half triple. So pull through two and then pull through the last three. And then we're going to put a double in there. Your next stitch, you're going to put a double, a half triple. So pull through two, then pull through the last three. And then a triple. Pull through two, two, and two into your next stitch I want you to put a single crochet so it'll really round that out and then into your next stitch and I can it's gonna go get squishy I want you to put a triple a half triple double and do your next stitch I want you to put a double a half triple so pull through two and then pull through all three and then a triple and then you're gonna come down and find your next stitch and do a single crochet Do it again, triple crochet, a half triple, and a double. Into your next stitch, you're going to put a double, a half triple. Oops, that was not a half triple. Let's try that again. A half triple. <laughs> and then a triple. Sometimes you gotta squeak it over because it gets busy. And then you're single. One more time, you got two stitches left. And then where obviously we started there with a single crochet. So you're going to do a triple, you're going to do a half triple, 
and a double. This next stitch you're going to do a double, a half triple, and a triple. So this is where we started. I want you to go back into that same stitch and do your very last single crochet. You may have to turn it to get it right. Just like that so that you still got that space. And then just above here I want you to do the fasten off into that first stitch. Just to make it look uniformed. And that is your poppy. So, I'll show you how to put a pin on the back of it. Just be careful when you're, you're um, tucking in this piece here that you don't pull that petal out of shape. It should still just look like that. So, then you take some pins. Find pins that don't have the little swirly thingy on the bottom. Can you see that? There's nothing on the bottom. Like so most pins have the little thingy on the bottom. You don't want that. You want one that has no swirl on the bottom. And then you just find some yarn. It's so tight in here, but find some yarn to make your pin. So then you can just do it all the way through. Preferably not going through to the other side. So this way, when you put your pin on, sorry, I know it's hard to see. When you put your pin on, you can just keep going to have it on that side so that you can use it to pin to your jacket. Just like that. All done. And that is your little homemade puppy. Thanks guys, I'll see you in the next short.